YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Will, back in the building with another video. Today we're diving into the world of budget wireless audio with the Godox WEC Kit 2, which essentially is a wireless microphone for your camera, or you can use this with your phone as well. It costs you about $99 for two transmitters, one receiver. I know Rode and DJI, theirs are like $350. We're gonna test this out to see if this is a good budget option. It has wireless transmission of 2.4 gigahertz. You have switchable mono and stereo mode. You have noise reduction functionality, max wireless distance of 200 meters. I have Godox products in my setup here like this key light which is a budget key light and I've been using it in my setup here in my studio for like the past three or four years when I seen the Godox WEC kit 2 I figured like it got to be good because I know Godox make really good products for a budget price I will also be sharing some examples with these other two wireless mic kits that I have this is the Mayono something something kit I have did a full review on this if you want to check that out and this is the Cinco wireless mic kit before we dive in if you're new here and you enjoy content like this maybe consider hitting subscribe that way you can come back and check out future videos on budget options for like filmmaking content creation and other tech videos let's go ahead jump into the unboxing and let's see what this kit has to offer the Godox WEC kit 2 comes with a little user manual and a carrying case the carrying case does feel like it's made pretty well zipper and then you got your little handle here when you open up the carrying case inside there is a section that holds some accessories with this kit you get uh, charging cable this is a USB-C to USB-A cable you have a phone cable which identifies with gray and then you have a TRS cable which is for like your camera you have two wind muffs as well next you have your charging case which is this guy right here a USB-C charging port at the very bottom there's also a reset button there when you lift the case up you can see on the front the LCD will display how much battery life is left when you charge this case up to hundred percent it can recharge the batteries of all the units inside of here up to two to three times each receiver and transmitter lasts up to eight hours eight times three is the amount of hours that you can have what is that 24 hours eight, 16 so you have like up to 24 hours of use time before you have to recharge the case so this right here is the transmitter it's super small here is a usb thumb drive you do have your clip right here so you can you know clip it to your shirt it's super lightweight honestly microphone is right here up front on and off button on the side a noise reduction button which also doubles as a link and then you have like the indicator so when it's green flashing like this that means it's looking for this receiver it automatically connects like i didn't have to press a button or anything i just pulled both of the units out and it's already like synchronizing which is cool it's blinking for number one because that one is still in the case but if i take this one out the case as well then it uh connect to it you got your charging pads right here and you also have the usb c right here at the bottom i'm pretty sure you can charge this up like outside the case while in use now let's check out the receiver you got your two little charging pads you have a connection to connect the cable for either your phone or your camera you have a mono and stereo switch button like if you hold it down and it turns blue now it's in mono mode and then if i hold it down the end and it'll turn back to stereo which is green you have a link button as well both of these buttons also double as a volume up and down so what i did notice is it's like four steps of volume so if you look inside of the case you can see like the little metal parts in there that's how these guys are able to like slide in and uh start charging pretty much a receiver and the transmitter these guys are like super super light it's so light it's like no tug on my shirt I really kind of just like that feature of kind of small and discreet this is a cold shoe mount my camera here I can just slide that on and now it's like locked on there the wind muff it has this like rubber 
design that simply like just slides on to connect this. Setup process is a breeze by simply removing both the transmitter and receiver from the kit, taking the receiver, sliding it on a coal shoe mount, connecting the either TRS or TRRS cable to your preferred device. And then just like that, in a few seconds, like I'm already ready to go. Do it like how the cool kids do, holding it in my hand. Mic check, one, two, one, two. I'm not far away from my camera. Um, in my room, this is just like an ambient test so we can get an idea. Uh, this versus the Rode Video Micro. Obviously, depending on how you mic this on your talent you know you have to kind of play with it to see what's the best placement but i'm trying to like move it around a little bit right now i have the noise reduction off so this is all raw audio and now if i slap the noise reduction you can see it orange now and now this is with noise reduction on it's not really a lot going on in here and now i flipped it back to talking regular mic check one two one two what do you guys think about this? I just switched over to the uh, Mayono microphone. Again, I did a whole review on this if you guys want to check that out. This one is uh, 50 bucks. I think it's like 60, a $60 wireless microphone kit. Testing 1212. Is there a big difference between the cheaper microphone? All right, mic check 1212. This is the Mayono microphone in the studio. Testing 1-2. Okay, so now this is the Cinco a uh, wireless microphone. This microphone is actually priced now at $140. So this is the Cinco G2. This is another bu budget option as well. And this one comes with two transmitters and one receiver. It has a few other fancy things, but this is a mic check for the Cinco microphone. Let me know how do you guys think this sound. What about when I clip it to my shirt? Does it sound better than the Godox or the Mayono? Which one do you guys think sound the best? Now I switch back to the Godox WEC Kit 2. I'm holding it in my hand so you can get an idea of all three. Which one do you think sounds the best? I'm gonna now jump to some other clips of examples of using this microphone in the real world. Mic check on the beach. Right now, no noise reduction. So that's what this sounds like. And I'm just holding it in my hand like how the cool kids do. Now if I slap on the noise reduction, you should get a better sound. Let's uh, clip it here. Like that. And um, yeah, I'm pretty about like, what, 50 feet away. I feel like average, you would use this pretty close. Like right here. Um, so yeah, mic check, one, two, one, two. This is a pretty good um, test, I would think, because like I said, you're on the beach, it's very noisy, waves are loud. So I wonder how the noise reduction is uh, blocking the sound out. This thing is on right here, which is my, uh, it's for the air. So you probably can hear, ooh, food is getting done. Um, but let me switch on noise reduction. Now this is noise reduction, so it's probably taken some of the ambient sounds out it's outside so there's birds chirping after listening back to all of the examples of the three different wireless smartphones that i have the godox sounded the best to me this microphone did drop out especially when i turn my back to the receiver and at certain distance it starts to cut out as well wec wireless microphones about 100 bucks you get two lives and a receiver. All microphone, wireless microphones work like that. If you're not in line of sight, then it'll start to like clip out. The Mayano microphone, it sounded pretty good for its price as well, but there was like a little weird distortion going on. Testing one, two, one, two. Is there a big difference between the cheaper microphone? The Cinco microphone, it had like interference. This is the Cinco G2. This is another bu budget option as well. And this one comes with two transmitters and one receiver. I also think that Godox has pretty good noise reduction from the example of like being outside and drowning out like the AC noise. Let me switch on noise reduction. Now this is noise reduction. When it comes to lives, like the perfect spot is like, you know, mid chest 
is like the perfect area to get the best quality sound. Perfect for like kind of holding it and doing your thing like that. Final thoughts on the Godox WEC Kit 2. Super easy to set up, like you literally just pull them both out, they connect by themselves. Another pro here is the compact size. One of the key things that I really like is like, if you clip it here, it's not a, like a lot of sag. The battery life is like almost 24 hours and you can also charge this while using it. So it could kind of last forever. My last pro with this is like the wind muff. I've seen plenty of other wireless kits. This is the best like kind of connect the wind muff option I've seen if you're Using one, you will probably do stereo, but if you're using both, it's better to do mono. It records the tracks separately. My first con that I'm not really sure if it's still a con anymore, when I first got this kit, when it was time to pull the receiver out, it was hard to do, but I feel like now I got the hang of like just pulling it out. A few other things that I guess can be cons, you do have output here, but there is no headphone monitoring. There is no like port to do an external lavalier. On the receiver, there is no audio level, so you can't monitor the audio besides looking at the camera audio. Due to the price, like they're not really cons but it's something that like I did want to mention overall I think the Godox WEC kit 2 offers incredible value for its price whether you're a seasoned professional or a beginner this wireless lavalier system is super easy to use and worth considering if you're into content creation vlogging or interview style content let me know if you guys have any questions about this kit i will leave a link down in the description with all that being said guys i hope that you enjoyed this video hope you learned something if you did don't forget to leave a boy a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'm gonna holla at y'all next week in my next video deuces